All right, today we're going to look at lesson 8-4. And this is customary units of length. Now, customary means the system that we use in the United States. So I'm going to write that down as our title. Customary units of length. So we're talking about how long something is. Now, because we're talking about the system that we use in the United States, you're probably familiar with a lot of the different lengths that we would use. The biggest one that we typically use are miles. And I'm also going to go ahead and put down the abbreviations after because in your homework, you're going to see some of these abbreviations and it'll be important for you to understand what they mean. All right, the next largest one are yards. And yards is abbreviated with YD. And then it going smaller, we get to, oops, I skipped one, feet. And feet is abbreviated with FT. And then we go to our littler one, which is inches. And inches is abbreviated with I N. All right, so that's the largest measurements that we use to smallest. Now, the metric system has the nice stairs, and it's always the same for. The different ones, the only thing that changes, remember, was whether it was meters or grams or liters. Our customary system isn't set up so nicely like that. So this is one where we have to memorize some of the different um, conversions. So one that's really important to know is one foot, and some of these you may already know, equals... How many inches? See if you know how many inches. Does one foot equal? And if you guessed 12 inches, that's correct. That's like our ruler. Rulers are um, little rulers tend to be one foot or 12 inches long. All right, one yard. Um, so yard equals feet. How many feet are in one yard? And the answer is three. Three feet equals one yard. And then we could even take that. Well, how many inches would that be then? So if we know that there are 12 inches in one foot, how many inches would there be in three feet? So we could take that 12 times three and we get 36 inches. So that means there's 36 inches in one yard. All right, let's go to our big measurements. One mile equals 1,760 yards. And how many feet are there in a mile? I remember um, we've talked about this in my math class that there's a magazine that um, is called this because of where we live. We live a mile above sea level. So the magazine is 5280, meaning there are 5,280 feet in one mile. All right, so now we need to be able to convert it. We need to be able to move from one measurement to another. So. If I said blank feet equals six yards. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say, okay, one yard equals three feet, but I need six yards. So here I'm going to say, well, six yards, one was three, so six times three, because I have six of them, not one of them, six of them equals 18 feet. 
So the answer is 18 feet. Okay, if I did, um, let's see, five feet equals blank inches. Well, we know one foot is 12. So to go from one foot to five feet, we multiply one times five to get five feet. So we have to do 12 inches, 12 times five. So one times five, 12 times five. And so 12 times five equals 60. So it equals 60 inches. All right, sometimes we have to go um, the opposite way. So we need to start with a larger one. So if I had, let's see. Um, I started with larger and I went to the smaller measurement. So let's start with the smaller measurement. Let's say that I have 24 inches. Oops, sorry, let me move this so we can all see it. 24 inches equals how many feet? All right, well, we know that there are how many inches in one foot? We know there's 12 inches in one foot. So what did I do to my 12 to make it 24? I multiplied it by two. So I'm gonna take my one and multiply it by two. So I get two feet, 24 inches equals two feet. If I had, um, let's see, let's say I had 12 feet equals blank yards. All right, well, I look up here and I see feet to yards. So I'm going to find feet and yards. I see feet and yards and I see it says three feet equals, three feet equals one yard. So what did I do to my 12 to get to, to three? Well, I divided it by four, or if I go the other way, three times four equals 12. So one times four equals four yards. So if three feet equals one yard, then 12 feet equals four yards because 12 is four times as big as three. So that will change the one it has to be four times as big, so it becomes four. Okay, um, that is the kind of problems that you're going to be seeing today. Uh, let's do one other one that's kind of an interesting one. If I had two and a half yards equals how many inches? So I look for yard and inches, and I see, oh, one yard equals 36 inches. So I'm just looking up here. One yard equals 36 inches. So one yard equals 36 inches. But I need two and a half yards. So what I could do is I could break that apart. And I could say, well, two yards then. So if one yard is 36, two yards. So I look at I multiplied one times two is two. So I need to do 36 times two. So over to the side, I might just do a little multiplication problem, 72. So that equals 72 inches, because I multiplied it by two, but I still have to do the half. So the half of a yard, and again, if one yard is 36, then half of it, what's half of 36? So I might go over here and take 36 and split it in half, divide it by two. 2 goes into 3 once, I subtract, bring down my 6, 2 goes into 16, 8, so that's 18 inches. So 2 yards equals 72, a half a yard equals 18, but I want 2 and a half all together, so I need to do 72 plus 18 to get it all together, and I add that together, and I find out it equals 90 inches. So go ahead and play around with that a little bit. It's This is going to be really important, this part right here, that you have your different measurements. So I would definitely copy that down. Really good to start trying to memorize some of that. 
but keep that close to you as you're working through your math tonight because that's going to help you figure out um, the answers to your problems. All right. On the math homework tonight, we're doing homework 8-4. Problems 1 through 12 are just like what I was just showing you. And then down here, we've got 13, 14, 15, and 16 that say find the perimeter. So the perimeter, again, is when you add the lengths of all the sides. Okay. But it says in feet. Now look at this. This one is 1 foot, and this one is 36 inches. So I have to change 36 inches into feet. And it only gives me how long this side is and how long this side is. I have to do this side and this side. Well, opposite sides are equal to each other. So if this side is one foot, then this side is one foot. This is 36 inches. This is 36 inches. So one foot plus one foot, we already know it's going to be two feet. Change your 36 inches into feet. Change your 36 inches into feet and then add those two. And then that'll be your perimeter. And you're doing it in feet, so label it feet. Same thing here, look at three yards. So I have to change that into feet. So three yards equals blank feet. 48 inches equals blank feet. Five feet, I don't have to change that. One yard equals blank feet. And then this part right here is not labeled from here to here. So that's going to be the same. Look at that's the same as here to here. So it's three yards up here, so we know it's going to be three yards there. So don't forget that little section. They left that off on purpose, I think, to make sure you're paying attention. Now this one says find the perimeter of each figure in yards. So we need to change everything to yards. That one's already a yard. 12 feet we need to change to yards. 9 feet we need to change to yards. 36 inches we need to change to yards. Now this one's a, a little bit, find out how many yards this is and then subtract one yard from it because you've got a yard here and so this is a yard right here. All right, and same thing here. Okay, we know this is 12 feet, 36 inches, take rid of that 36 inches and find out how long that is. This one's a little straight, more straightforward. We've got six yards plus six yards, change 15 feet, in two yards, change 15 feet into yards and add all four of them together. And remember, label them with yards. So that's page 163. And then on page 164, remembering 8-4, going back and practicing some of our algebra, our order of operations. Remember PEMDAS, please excuse my dear aunt. Sally, multiplying and dividing go together, adding and subtracting go together. And then practicing with the metric system and a stretch your thinking. So that'll be your homework tonight. Your homework tonight will be homework and remembering pages 163 and 164, all the problems. Oops. Let me scooch that down so you can see it. 163 and 164, all the problems. Let us know if you have some questions. Watch this video several times if you need to. Um, Khan Academy, another good resource to go to to help you with customary measurement.